Yes, yes, yes. You know who it is. It is Anita and the Biz Coach. I am coming back to you with all things grants. I know you've been enjoying, hopefully, all of these great, great tips I've been giving you all for the past few days, right? We have been covering some awesome, awesome, awesome stuff that you're going to need in order to get ready for 2023. These things hopefully you've already been doing, but if you have not been doing them, I am helping you out to get it done, as I like to say also, right? You are getting the things done. I am giving you tips and trades into the world of grants, grants management, and all those great things to help you get better prepared for your 2023. Okay, so you also know I've been sharing a lot of information about my holiday special. My holiday special is coming to an end very, very soon, you guys. It ends on December 31st. So you want to make sure that you get in on it while you can, because you will not be seeing this again, I promise you. This is a once in a lifetime type of opportunity. So if you need some help with getting some of the things done that you need to get done to get your year started off right, all right, that could be anything from creating your one-page proposal to doing some research, finding some grants that you would like to apply for in the new year. Maybe it's getting some letters done for you to connect with partners in your community or your MOUs, which is your memorandums of understanding for your next grant proposals that you'll be sending out. Yes, I am helping you with all of these intricate little things that people tend to forget about or they don't think about when it's time to apply for grant funding. So you need these things. You need to have them already in place and not scrambling around trying to do it at the last minute. I can tell you from experience, that is not a good place to be in. Been there, done that. You know, you don't want to be there. You want to have your stuff already ready and together so that when it's time to submit these applications, you will be ready to be on your way to get the funding that you need. All right. So for today, my tip that I am sharing is a little bit about how to get social. Now, what are we talking about when we get to talking about getting social? Well, if you've been applying for online um, grant funding in the last few months, years, whatever. Recently, they have been asking more and more for your social media imprint. What is your imprint, your footprint that you're leaving? What type of presence do you have online? So they're not just only asking for your websites. Now they want to know, you know, what kind of uh, Facebook, Instagram, um, you know, TikTok, I mean, any <laughs> social media platform that you're on, they want to see what type of engagement you have, what is your presence, what type of things are you sharing. They also want to give you a heads up and see what type of stuff you'd be sharing about them if you did get the funding from them. So you want to always make sure that you reach out to them once you do get that funding and see some of the branding or the verbiage that they would like for you to use when it comes to giving them their props on the social media, in the social media world, all right? So you have to learn how to do those things. You have to learn how to write your sample social media content within a certain amount of characters. You have to know how to create a video that you may need to upload when you're applying for some of these online grants and get into some of these contests, these grant contests, that a lot of these uh, corporations and foundations are asking for now. So if you're shy on camera, you need to either get over it or you need to get somebody that can do these things for you and to help you out, okay? So those are some of the things we offer as well to help you get ready to do some of this stuff and get social so that your organization can stick out you know, from the rest. You want to be different, you wanna be unique. So you want to be able to make that footprint impressionable. All right. Okay. So that's all I have for this tip. Make sure you read the rest of it in this posting, wherever you're seeing it at, you know, you can find me on YouTube. You need to subscribe to me there. You need to follow me and like me on Facebook, Instagram. Go ahead, go ahead. You know, you can find me as Anita in the Biz Coach. So I know this year is coming to an end. I'm going to be looking forward to seeing you all in the next, next year. I want to see what you're doing, what you got going on, some of these things you're going to be doing in your new year. So looking forward to the end. Until then, you guys take care.